Good evening. A Syrian-born musician is performing in Oxford this evening after the Home Office reversed a decision to refuse him a visa. Thousands of people signed a petition calling for Ibrahim Cabo to be able to visit the UK to take part in the Oxford Chamber Music Festival. He's on stage at the Sheldonian Theatre this evening. David Lum is outside the Sheldonian for us. David, that change of decision must have made a lot of people very happy. Absolutely, Geraldine. I mean, when that news originally broke, there was absolute outrage. Something like 1,700 people signed a petition to get this uh, decision reversed when we reported the, the news two weeks ago. But that petition now has risen to more than 45,000 people strong. And on Monday, he found out that he would actually be able to perform at the building behind me. Relief that he's finally made it. Until Monday, it looked like Ibrahim Cabo would be blocked from performing in Oxford. I am very happy because I come and I come to this very nice uh, city and uh, I see very great uh, people and I, I am very, very nice. I am very happy. Ibrahim is well known for playing Syrian music on the Oud. He was granted asylum in Germany two years ago. When a UK visa was originally refused, the Home Office said the festival must demonstrate the role could not have been filled by someone already a resident here. But more than 40,000 people signed a petition calling for the decision to be overturned, including the writer Philip Pullman and the Queen guitarist Brian May. Tonight, Ibrahim will perform in front of hundreds of people at the Sheldonian Theatre. Well, joining me now is Priya Mitchell. She's the artistic director of this festival. Priya, thank you for joining us. What's it like to have What's it like to have Ibrahim here this evening? Well, we're very excited. We're ecstatic, actually, because we didn't know until yesterday if he could come or not. And now he's here, and he's overjoyed to be here. And he's such a warm personality, an incredible performer, a highly charismatic force of nature, uh, and. We're just delighted. I mean, it's quite cold and wet here outside the Sheldonian, but inside there tonight, it's going to be a very, very warm welcome for him. When you found out about the government's initial decision, what was your reaction? We couldn't understand it or believe it, really, because we did it. everything was correctly done on the application, and um, we're just uh, thrilled that he's here now. OK, well, you were the one who started this petition to get that decision reversed. How was that petition received and what, what's the support been like from members of the public? Well, I was amazed because it, was, it started with a few signatures and in less than a week there were over 45,000 people and the Home Office obviously heard us and heard people's opinions and they reversed their decision and it's a very happy day for the Oxford Chamber Music Festival. Well, there you have it. Ibrahim is due to take to the stage here at about half seven this evening. They're actually offering half-price tickets to anyone who backed the campaign on a first-come, first-served basis. If you can't make it this evening, then there are a couple of other events. There's um, a, a concert at St John the Evangelist tomorrow, and then a couple of concerts taking place on Sunday as well. David, in a 